Hello YouTube, how's it going? We're going to do another Studio One video. We're going to answer a question that a viewer asked in the Drum Editor Overview video. And the question was, in Pattern Editor, you can change the quantize like 116 to 18, etc. for individual drum tracks or notes, kick, snare, etc. individually. Can you also do this with Drum Editor? The answer is basically yes. You can't change it for individual uh, tracks, but you can definitely change the grid size. So uh, when you're editing different parts, you can uh, get a different feel going. So if you're editing your, you know, you're just doing your basic kick and snare, you set it to one four, and we have here our one four grid. That's so you can see that goes with my kick snare pattern there, right? Every every quarter note it alternates between the kick and the snare so that's the basic pattern there and then if we go to 116 you can see that follows our basic uh, hi-hat pattern there so you can't change it uh, for individual notes but you can definitely change it as you're editing different parts to make it easier to align and see how you want the pattern to go but another cool thing that you can do is you can use this quantize menu and what you see here is that there are snapshots. So we have A, B, C, D, E, and A would by default be 116, but we change that. So you can actually just use these snapshots here. So um, there are shortcuts you can use. If you hold your mouse over the, the button, it'll show you what you have it set to. So control alt one to five is what it's set for me. So if I hit those shortcuts, I can easily change the grid size to whatever the snapshot is set to. So you can adjust the swing and things like that. So you have quite a bit of control over your grid here and how you're editing with the drum editor, which is pretty cool. So let's add some variation here to the, the hi-hat, huh? And let's say we want to add a little quick fill. Uh, let's do that right here before the third bar comes in. And I want to change the quantize to, uh, let's do 132. Yeah. And we're going to add a little something like that. Just something simple. Yeah. See? And that's all you have to do to change the quantize and get a different grid size for editing different parts it's really that simple and then if you use this quantize menu you have a lot more power over controlling the feel and the groove of your drums and using the snapshots here you know it just makes your life a lot easier and you can uh, edit your drums really quickly uh, you can zoom out and you know let's say we want to add just kind of like something here to basically just keep the basic beat of the, the track going. Alright, and let's see, we want to add some more uh, fills. Let's change this to 132 again. change things up and let's go to impact and what I like to do is I like to pan the uh, hats to different sides so that way we get a little bit of interesting movement And we can also go and select these and select these two. And let's use the humanize feature. Humanize. So we'll, we won't really change the the movement off the grid, but we'll change the variation of the velocity. So there's some more interesting movement going on. At least, there we go. 
Alright, so let's listen to that. Ah. Very cool. So that's the drum editor, and that's how you can use the quantize and these snapshots here to easily edit and create some cool drums for your tracks. So if you found this video useful, please like, subscribe, and all that cool stuff. Leave a comment, and I will see you guys on another video soon. Take care.